Hi and welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your July 2021 tarot forecast. Now it is a general reading, so as trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Welcome to those of you that are brand new to my channel. Awesome to have you here and those that follow me regularly. You're rocking awesome. Love your support. There is a competition giveaway for July. There's some tarot decks up for grabs. So if you want to enter, all you need to do is if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button this month or opt in to the extended versions of my readings. You'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Kunyin Oracle by Lana Fairchild. Beautiful deck. And uh, those that follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Messenger Oracle. And uh, if you watch my readings, you'll know that I use that deck a lot. It is amazing. And I'll draw the winners at the end of the month. And if you want to get a hold of the extended versions of my readings, very simple. Just hit the join button on my channel or very first link in the video description box below. They're only $5.99 a month. And uh, you get both the extended versions of my monthly readings, mid-monthly, as well as a bonus love forecast uh, just for VIP members. And uh, they're deeply transformational, motivational, inspirational. They dive a lot deeper than the predictions. So if you want to invest in yourself every month, it's like getting two personal readings from me every month. Go and check those out. And my personal readings are open. Uh, there is a special this month, so you can get $10 off my one-hour personal reading. It includes an Akashic Record check and answers any of the questions you'd most like answered. So I'll pop the info and coupon code up here as well as down below. Follow me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi if you're on Instagram. Let's get started with your reading, Scorpio. So diving straight into predictions with the... Uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot, and let's see what you need to know. Now you pull the Magician. So whenever you pull the Magician, it's very much that Spirit's saying you've got everything you need to create whatever you want to create in your life. You're ready. You've got the resources you need. Even if you feel like you don't have them, it's within you, Yeah. And basically, you know, whatever you believe in terms of yourself, your abilities, you'll manifest that in your life. And you've got the two of air. It's very much a bit of a stalemate going on. Possibly you need to make a decision. You might be procrastinating on it, um, overanalyzing things versus taking action. And you've got transformation, going through this beautiful transformation, personal growth. Usually it's triggered by a significant life event. It just can be a desire within self that you want to change, you want to grow, go in a different direction. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the Ten of Water. It's like the Ten of Cups here. Yeah? They're offering their cup to each other. It's a mutual love. It can represent brand new love. There's Cupid's arrow there. It can represent overcoming challenges in a, in a relationship to have this beautiful mutual love. Gorgeous home in the background speaks of contentment. So some of you, your love life is transforming, yeah? You've also got the five of five, which represents conflict with others, knowing when to uh, choose your battles wisely, when to stand up for yourself, when to walk away from drama. Kind of interesting that you've also got a stalemate going on, so it can be with, with someone in your life. And you've got the nine of water. Your wishes coming true, everything coming together for you. Um, there's so many cups being filled here. It can absolutely represent good fortune coming into your life. Sitting directly under the magician, so you kind of got to put your intentions out there, make some steps, take some action yourself to let the universe know what it is you want to attract to you. <laughs> so funny. Oh, there's such a choice to be made. The seven of um, water, it's sitting directly under the two of air, which is procrastinating on a decision. Yeah, there's certainly a choice you need to make. For some of you, it'll be around big life changes. And you've also got the five of water. A lot of water energy coming out for you, Scorpio. Um, very much looking at the negative, not seeing the opportunities behind you or in front of you. 
focusing on the past things that didn't work out spirit saying to change how you're looking at things look for the blessings in things because often when something doesn't work out it's either to teach us a lesson or to make sure we don't go in that direction that it's not the right direction for us there's a better one available to us and you also got the ego coming out which is this false sense of entrapment holding yourself stuck you can release yourself from at any time from the chains holding you holding you stuck yeah there's a lot of it coming through about how you're perceiving things and looking at things, Scorpio, at the moment. And you've also got the High Priestess, which is very much connecting with your spiritual guidance, your spirit guides, going within, trusting your own intuition, the messages coming through from spirit, your own wisdom. Super intrigued to see what comes out for you with the uh, Muse Tarot. Okay, that one wants to fly out. Oh, yes, I'm not surprised this has come out. You've got the devil energy. Uh, she's got strings attached to the end of her fingers, which is being pulled by um, basically the sides of self, both sides of self, yeah. So it can represent unhealthy habits going on, certainly ways of thinking that are not serving you right now. In the background, there's a beautiful butterfly being lit up by fire, which can represent the rise of the phoenix, rebirth. And you've got the five of inspiration. So spirit saying, be very mindful that, of how you treat others on your path. You don't fall down a bit of a rabbit hole. Leading with love and light, being very compassionate with people. There's certainly conflict going on with others here. You've also got the world, which can represent cycle completions, brand new beginnings in your life. Certainly can represent significant change, can represent travel. And you've got the tool of inspiration, which is so beautiful. New adventures, um, taking a leap of faith, new beginnings happening in your life, certainly related to love. Dare I say you need to free yourself up a bit mentally and emotionally, Scorpio. Mm. And you've got the five of voices. Again, it speaks a lot around... Um, the people that you're connecting with, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's with family, with friends, there's conflict with others going on. There's an olive branch being um, offered here. So it's about moving from these states of just working on your own, being a bit of a lone wolf, these states of criticism of others, not accepting differences in others, whether it be their opinions, um, cultural differences, so that you can come together collaboratively. They're all in this beautiful, if I bring it really close, I don't know if you can see it, in the centre there, they're all in this beautiful yoga pose, relaxed together, yeah. Wow. I've got to say wow on that one, Scorpio. All right, let's pull you some, I'm going to ask you, like, if you've got all of this going on, you've got to ask yourself, how am I contributing to this situation? Is it the way in which I'm reacting to it versus responding? Am I doing things to trigger other people? Mm -hmm. Am I being triggered by other people? So, mm -hmm. all right, let's put you some guidance in terms of the angel healing messages. Oh, you got Archangel Raphael. Feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. So, certainly just a temporary thing going on in your life. Spirit saying the sun will come out again, things will shift. And divine intervention. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress may seem painfully slow. Yet this is a blessing. It's divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. So there's certainly some blockages to your path right now. And you've got to imagine. Now I think this is a super important message for you. Clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul, and so it will come to be. What is it you want, um, Scorpio? What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your relationships to look like, your work life? Mm -hmm. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Pegasus Oracle. What is it Scorpio needs to know right now? Mm, beautiful. 
beautiful energy coming through you got the pegasus of alpha centauri have a look at that it's so gorgeous dare i know dare i say your soul needs a little bit of soothing right now scorpio and it says there is an inner stirring taking place an energetic whirling of the energies of change within your soul it will lead to a benevolent dis divine disruption a break with what has been the process may appear to be initiated by external events over which you have no control or your own inner searching or by your questioning or assumptions no matter what the impetus this shift has you opening to new possibilities mentally and emotionally even if they lead you away from your original plans and what you were raised to believe letting go of your expectations allows what needs to happen to happen if you feel locked in structures or strict patterns, this energy will release you. If you've been holding on to an underlying tension in your body, your heart, your mind, the frequency of Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to our sun, can help you cast off that tension. You will open up to new realities through deep acceptance of what is occurring now. Here is a gift of freedom to release fixity and experience new worlds. The star medicine of Alpha Centauri, delivered by our spirit friend, Pegasus, gently removes blocks on all levels and nudges the soul forward to a breakthrough in a very gentle way. You can trust what you don't know for an entirely new manifestation is awakening for you. So what does that mean? Um, releasing yourself from self-imposed beliefs, blockages, obstacles that you're putting in your, in your own path, um, Scorpio, releasing yourself from old structures and ways of being. Um, brand new, fresh adventures, new advent, new beginnings. Certainly loves here. There's certainly, you know, you've got all of this going on right. But right here, you got your wishes coming true. Everything you want. Um, there certainly needs to be a mental and an emotional shift within self. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. For those of you watching the free version of this reading, you enjoyed it hit the like button hit the subscribe button we are going to jump straight into the extended which dare i say is going to be full of guidance with what's going on here um, there's absolute transformation going on so we're going to have a focus on that there's this beautiful love connection in your life or resurgence of love can even be reconciliation there's certainly these beautiful new adventures happening for you and the need for you to get out of this devil energy, dare I say, of holding yourself stuck and your wishes coming true. So let's see what comes through for you in terms of wish fulfillment. Uh huh. So uh, if you want to get the extended, remember all you have to do is hit the join button on my channel, very first link below. Those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. VIP members, those going into the extended, hang around. We're going into your general energies next.